For cooking a great dish, you need uh, the right ingredients. And if we miss out on some ingredients, uh, it shows in the finished product. Similarly, you know, in, in our faith life, the Bible talks about certain ingredients that we need in order to uh, ensure that our life is fruitful or successful. And we read about this in 2 Peter chapter 1 and verses 5 to 8. 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 5, but also for this very reason, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, to virtue knowledge, to knowledge self-control, to self-control perseverance, to perseverance godliness, to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness love. For if these things are yours and abound, you will be neither barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. So Peter seems to be giving a list of ingredients uh, that you put together that you need to that we need to add to our faith. And, and the end result is that he says that if these things are there, if these ingredients are there in your life, if you add to your faith all these ingredients, then your life will neither be unfruitful, uh, it will not be barren. So let's look at these ingredients. What are these ingredients that we can add to our faith? The first one, he says, is add to your faith virtue or character. Now, what is character? Character is who we really are, who I really am as a person. Uh, character is, uh, my, uh, uh, is who I am when nobody's watching. Uh, like somebody said, you know, my secret choices, it describes my character. And uh, I can cover up my character. I can, I can say, I can put on a show on the outside, I can mask my character, but one day eventually it will show up. My choices, my behavior, everything is because of who I am on the inside. So a character is very important and a character takes time to build. A character is also not reputation. People can look at me on the outside and I can have a reputation among people saying, oh, this person, oh, he's like this or she's like this and, and so on. But reputation is different from character because character is who I really am. It's not what people think or who people think I am, but it's who I really am. So how is character developed? You know, 1 Corinthians 15 and verse, uh, verses 32 and to 34, if we read 33, I think it says that, uh, bad company corrupts good habit. Evil company corrupts good habits. Uh, meaning the company that I keep uh, definitely influences my character. So, um, so what is the company that I keep? Of course, it, it uh, refers to the people that I hang out with, the friends that uh, I spend time with, the people I look up to, the people who inspire me, influence me, and so on in, in life. But also it refers to, um, you know, maybe my virtual friends, right? Friends on Facebook, uh, people who I follow on, on Twitter, uh, all that. And also the things that influence me, the books that I read, the music that I listen to, the, the movies that I watch, the TV programs that I regularly follow, all that influences my character, influences my choices, influences what I think. and. Um, uh, that influences my character. So character is very important uh, for me because I need character to help handle my triumphs. I need character, strong character to help handle my failures. And uh, I need to be a person of strong character uh, to live this life and uh, to, to live it well. So the first ingredient that we need uh, is character. And I just pray that uh, God will give us the grace to build character. Character takes time to build as we respond to His Word, as we uh, obey His Word and obey the leading of the Holy Spirit. We will, we will see that our character is built up brick by brick and it will be strong. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you want us to be people of strong character because you don't want our lives to be destroyed, but you want, Lord, whatever you put in our lives, Lord, uh, the anointing, the gifting, to be held together uh, by good character in, in our workplace, in our, in, our, in our colleges, at home, that we will be people of strong character. We thank you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.